When we don't know nobody, yeah. Who brought your dro to the party? Cause that's just so loud. Got the cops in the lobby trying to stop what we do. Trying to pop somebody on my phone for some hoe. Want to cop some Molly, yeah. We just trying to have a good time. All these fish in the sea and it's hook line. Sinker. Bitches, I was swerving no blinker. I ain't gon' trip. I'm a big chief. I ain't gon' slip. Music's really just been around my whole life. For the most part, it's just like, throughout everything that I've been through, everything that I, everything that I've like learned has been possible somewhat because of music, the way like it lets me get my head level, you know? But then uh, really like just going through things in life, like life situations. Like when people normally ask me that question, I just answer it like real quick. I just say life situations. Cause that's what like, that's what I put in my music. That's what goes out. That's what, that's what inspires me from other people is the life situations that they be talking about and how they can illustrate it on a track. I'm cruising, I'm rolling. You know I'm West Coast and come around posting. I leave you in the fucking ocean. Have a toast to all my folks and the young ones that be approaching the age of wisdom. I'm hoping that your mind is open. You know, let your mind go while you listen to the music. And I realized that I could do the same thing when I started rapping for other people. Like, they just, they would tell me like specific rhymes, specific lines, and like the way I make them feel with my raps. So it was just like, inspiring to know that they really I was able to connect with these people on a different level simply by rapping and just expressing myself and essentially that's what everybody else be doing too if you do it the right way just don't come out on no phony shit I realize how unique I am considering that like my mom is from Burma my dad came from Togo and they just happened to meet out here in the big city of San Jose and now here I am it's like, there's a whole world out there. So it's like, when I see people that have their minds so wrapped up in the small things and like what's going on around us here, it's like, I always remember that there is so, there's like a huge world. Like we all, we're part of this huge world. And everywhere in this world, there are human beings. Like not every part, like the shirt is like, your undocumented areas and shit. But for the most part, there's human beings everywhere on this earth. So you can go anywhere. You know, there's shit happening everywhere. People everywhere are going through things. So it really like, me being of international descent just got me thinking on an international level when it comes to the way I handle myself, the way I do things. And then I'll be at home, probably just, that's part of the reason that I actually got into music. So I'd be at home just listening to music or whatever, you know, kicking it. But, um, Then I also had like great group of friends, which is what, I don't know, it's crazy. Just the group of friends that I got and the people I still have around me now, people that I'm yet to meet and shit, it's just like, it makes everything worthwhile. I wanna say I try to hit it with like an influential level because I'm influenced by like MCs that really master their craft, they know what they're doing. You know, they're, they're on top of their game. They'd be coming with the crazy rhyme schemes or like coming with the crazy knowledge and just truth about themselves or like going through their own situations and they're able to like paint pictures. I don't know where I was going with this. What was the question again? Kind of <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe your music? Oh yeah, but um, yeah, just really, it's myself. When you hear me on the track, you're gonna hear me. You're gonna hear like my story. Like you're gonna see, you're gonna see me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I can't really explain that. But you're gonna see the Bay Area. You're gonna see what it's like to be a diverse black man in the Bay Area. You don't see what it's like to be strong enough to be doing your own thing and knowing that you're doing your own thing, trying to influence others and realizing that you are influencing others without trying at sometimes. And the fact that everyone else is influencing you at the same time. So it's like everyone is, it's 
so it's like what I put on the track and what I put into my music is like what goes on in my life, what goes on around me, the things that I be seeing, the things that I be doing, you know? Cause that's all I can put. Like that's all I can share is my life, you know what I mean? That's why other rappers that do what they do, they're sharing their view. Anyone that does an art, like anyone that draws or whatever, they're showing what they see, what they do. Like that's their mind on the track. I don't know, I wanna say I didn't know too much about the rap game. Like I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't aware of like all the the expressionism and stuff like that. I wasn't aware of a lot of things. So it was like when I listened to music, it was just because it was cool and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So then after I started listening to like realer music, like some shit that was made in the 70s or like some older like funk music or like some soul music, you know what I mean? Like the stuff with like the real lyrics, something that almost makes a real nigga want to cry, you know what I'm saying? Like <coughs> when you listen to music like that, it's just like crazy. So that's the type of music I want to make because it's like really them, at the end of the day, it's people really just owning the moment in music and then people that I feel like that really do that around here in the Bay Area would probably be like people like E-40 he really owns his own brand he really doing his own thing he really is yeah. you know what I'm saying the dude's huge it's like global to live out your dream be your dream know that whatever you're doing is the right step really own it really own the moment, you know what I'm saying? You gotta own yourself, you gotta know who you are before you hop in front of the stage. You gotta know who you are before you start talking like you know what the world is. You know what I mean? You gotta know who you are. I'm hopping into Sweden where a whole bunch of people, the international students that I met, a lot of them were like German, Spanish, um, Italian, some people from Switzerland, shout out to my Swiss. But um, I only spoke English, so when I was out there, I heard a whole bunch of people speaking their own dialects and stuff with each other in different groups and stuff like that. But when they talked to me, they spoke English. So it was pretty cool. That's dope. Yeah. And then they're like connected with me as like, I'm the dude from California that's not even like from Europe, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, people like, like connecting with me. And I told them that I rapped and stuff, I would rap for them. And they were able to understand like, word for word, like what I'm saying, they would fucking like connect with it. That's fresh, yeah. I wrote this rap for this, uh, cause I was doing glass design out there, right? Okay. So I wrote this rap for it, and my teacher started like crying lightweight when I started rapping, cause he realized that that's what I do. Damn. Because the whole time I was there, like I let everyone know, like I'm not a design student. I'm over here. I'm a business major. I'm out there, just business major, no design experience, but I do know expressionism and I do know what they're doing. Damn. And it was crazy. I was able to see like what they were doing when they were expressing themselves with their furniture. You know what I mean? They were able to make furniture that was just like, damn. <laughs> you know? Shout out to California. God bless. But, um, yeah, they were expressing themselves with that. And then I tell them I express myself through music. I was like rapper for them out there sometimes, like, I don't know, it was real cool. And then my teacher ended up seeing that at the very end, cause like the whole time she seen like I was lightweight, like not up to par when it came to the design, I guess. Like I was kind of just yeah. having fun with it. Like uh -huh. I was clearly like having fun, you know? So it was like, at the end, she seen me like express myself the way that I do, you know what I mean? And she was just like, wow, it's crazy. It was really humbling, man. I didn't expect that, because I was just having fun up there. I was just like, all right, I'm going to write a rap for you guys to make my presentation better. Yeah. Because this is what I do, and you guys haven't seen me all semester do anything. So it's like, <laughs> like, and then I had like both classes, like the glass design and the furniture design in one room. Did a cool little performance run there with the, just the rap. Yeah, that shit was cool. And then they all fucking, they liked it. I mean, I can probably actually like show you the song. You could probably like snippet that in the video or something. It's kind of funny. Oh, you have you have the footage of it? No, I have the, I have the song. Even though the man wants me dead, I'm in prison.